Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're continuing on uh, with part two in this series of plumbing the pig. And in part one, I had mentioned that um, I didn't have the right fittings to adapt uh, the uh, this air whistle here, which I think is quarter inch MIP, and translate that to pipe and get up to uh, half inch NPT. But my local Ace Hardware came through for me, and I bought two fittings, got a nipple, and uh, this fitting transfit, uh, translates from half inch NPT to uh, quarter inch MIP. E-I-E-I-O. Man, I get confused with all the piping acronyms. What can I say? I'm a tin bender. I can barely read and write. So, uh, that whistle is installed. So now what I'm doing is I'm coming up with some... Uh, oh, this just looks ridiculous. <laughs> I'm coming up with some bracketry to uh, secure this thing. So I've got a chunk of uh, diamond plate angle cut. I still got to deburr it around the corners and all of that. I'm going to bolt that right to the frame on both sides. Can't do any welding because, I mean, I got a full propane tank right here, charged braided propane lines to the regulator, so welding's out of the question. I'll bolt that to the frame and then um, I got a couple of these guys right here, U-bolts, so they will uh, go like so and bolt to the bracket, captivate the pipe. I wish I had a little smaller U-bolts in stock, but this is what I got, so that's what I'm going to run with. They'll work. So um, let me uh, get set up. We'll get to work um, on that bracket. Like a goofball, I secured my flagpole here before I showed you the finished bracket, but you get the idea there, and it's solid. That's uh, not going anywhere. So that captivates this pipe on this end. And uh, But I'm running out of time uh, to continue on with bracket and bracing. I'm not sure just yet what I'm gonna do. I am out of time for bracket building and brace building is I gotta have this thing on the road at oh dark 30 tomorrow morning for a show. So what's a guy to do? You redneck it with a ratchet strap, which is what I did. And that ain't going nowhere. That's uh, nice and sturdy. And it's given me an inspiration. Uh, for the final bracing on this rather than a bulky bracket you know like steel tubing or something like that I'm thinking about going with uh, cable and turnbuckles kind of the old aircraft wing strut bracing idea so um, 
I think that's what I'm going to do. But just to get me to the show tomorrow and to light this thing off, um, I'm just going to go with the redneck ratchet strap. I mean, I've already got a redneck ratchet strap set up for tightening the engines up. Uh, but, very future state, I've got something in the works for that. I think I may have showed this on the video a while back. Sorry about the wind noise, I got the cable going. Right here is this real cool vintage farm implement handle, complete with a ratchet rack and a mounting bar and all of that. I'm gonna utilize that as my tensioner for the engines, you know, to drive all the Rube Goldberg stuff. I've got this existing bar here on the pump jack trailer on the old chassis for the international truck i think that was for actuating brakes so i'm thinking about connecting uh, uh, brackets to the engines and then so when i tighten and loosen that handle it will tighten and loosen the engines correspondingly so i've got to check oil clean points the next clip in this video will be the pump jack trailer at the show charging the pig with air and see if we can make some noise with whistles. So that's the plan. Um, let me, you guys let me know in the comments about paint. Should I paint all of this piping or just leave it like it is? Uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. I mean, half this thing is, thing is painted, the other half isn't. So, I mean, the whole thing is hideous. Only a, a, a senior male child <laughs> could appreciate something like this, which I happen to be one of those. So, Okay, so, yeah, that's enough yapping. Uh, the next clip, just a couple seconds for you. This thing is going to be at the show. Well... We are off on an adventure. I don't know if you can see through my dirty window back there or not, but the pump jack trailer is uh, hitched up, including the redneck ratchet strap to steady the, all the air delivery lines. We're going to a show. Let's see if this thing works. We are at the Mustang Mountain Cowboy Church. They're having an event here today. Power from the Past is the, the featured group. I got just a couple minutes before the public starts coming in. So let's get some uh, tractors in. It's a really nice 1953 Farmall Super C. This tractor is older than me. <clears throat> nice John Deere 40. It's for sale. Anybody interested in a nice run on John Deere 40, call that number. Farm All A with a Woods Belly Mower. Nice Ford 8N. Much nicer than the one I got. And my, my poor Ford 8N right now. It's got a blown head gasket. I got a radiator full of oil. Oh, fun. 45 John Deere LA. 48 Earthmaster, 39 Minneapolis Mole ZTU. Not sure the year on the Mini Mo 445. Gorgeous Farm All M. Look at that thing. Little Cub Low Boy, 65 model. And my buddy Charlie's John Deere B. They changed the hydrostat drive for my thing. Oh, good. How are you? Good. We're going to get this show on the road here. So this is Matt, the strap whisperer. Hi, Matt. How you doing? Good. How are you? Great, thanks. Almost built. Good. Contact. You're such a dingling. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, JJ Carcher says that there is four acres on the Cronish Road, northwest side.
through a belt, but I got enough air pressure. I relocated my idler forward a little bit. Now the belt is riding this. shortage of rocks to put in the crusher. <laughs> Which one's this? I don't... I think associated. I've... What? Oh, it's an associated. This is the only thing I can find the matches. Well, it looks good. Yeah. So when this gauge gets up to about 45 pounds, really loads up the compressor and that's when she starts throwing the belt. It had nothing to do with where the iron was. So now I know the limits. There she goes. As soon as I hit the unloader lever, she straightens right out. And we're at 40 PSI, which is 20 for those little ones. Well the people mover's been popular today. It's called the Holy Roller because it's got church pews for seating. Yeah. I can't remember what model John Deere pulls this thing. Oh, it's a B. Yeah. Well, success. It's a balmy 100 degrees and the event is starting to wind down so I shut this thing down and I, uh, I learned why this was throwing the belt once we got up to about 45 psi on the gauge that loaded up the compressor enough it said I'm done and it kicked the belt off so when she gets up close to 45 psi I just flip the lever on the unloader valve and let it bypass <laughs> and that's more than enough air pressure to uh, Blow those whistles which you heard earlier and you know we can hook up an air hose to the air chuck there and pump up a tire so yeah very happy with the way it turned out eventually I'll hook up my airplane wing strut type of brace system for the uh, air piping there to make sure that stays stable and not put too much stress and strain here on the uh, where it's uh, on the discharge side of the peg yeah good day this thing was a big hit check out this 41 Dodge W series I guess it's sitting on a uh, 95 GMC 2500 chassis with a 6.5 liter diesel in it with me it'd be sitting on a 95 Dodge chassis with a 12 valve Cummins but hey everybody has their preferences look at the sheet metal on this thing it's perfect absolutely perfect and I love the aluminum diamond plate window visor touch look at this grill and this is the same kind of front end that old Wayland wire built his Dojalac rat rod out of and unfortunately that burned up on him in May he had an accidental fire in the shop he almost lost his whole shop it was, I watched his video the other day and about cried because I took him five years to build that truck I watched every video he put up building that rat rod 
if I think about it, I'll put a link in the description for that video where he he um, explains what happened. And, and there was a coincidental <laughs> deal there. A very close friend of mine I grew up around and with in the Pacific Northwest heard about Wayland's plight. Went over to his place with a truckload of parts and and metal and just all kinds of goodies to help him out with his rat rod building endeavors. And this is a nice truck. <clears throat> I need to build something like this. What I need to do. This is a nine foot box, right? By the way, factory. What a sweetheart. Well, that was fun. Those air whistles on there, the pig even squealed like a pig. <laughs> oh boy. The event actually was kind of a dud. We had no spectators. I think 10 people came through all day long. Power from the Past was the biggest outfit there. And, um, which is kind of unfortunate. Clearly there was some kind of problem of advertising the event or it could have been just the fact that it was a 101 degrees outside and yeah but I came home with two gallons of ice cream because we had the ice cream maker going and you know I didn't even think to film that but you guys have seen it before on past videos especially at the uh, Santa Cruz County Fair last September 2022 um, but anyway um, yeah we had tons of ice cream left over so I came home with a gallon of uh, vanilla and a gallon of chocolate and the stuff is delicious but it's just nancy and i'm going to gain 40 pounds trying to polish off that ice cream which i have no business eating at my age but it's 100 degrees outside you eat ice cream it's just that's a rule well the pig was a success and it was actually a hit with the other club members <laughs> the air system works great and i mentioned in the part one of this series about doing kind of like an airplane wing uh, truss arrangement with cable and turnbuckles. I'll probably just do that and not film it. Um, uh, the whole pig series hasn't really generated much interest and not much in the way of views. I've, I got some diehards that have stuck with me on that pig project, but um, I'll probably just uh, do it and then uh, as I'm at an event somewhere with a pump jack trailer and I'm filming, I'll show it then. Uh, but I'm not going to do any more on this series. Two on the pig is enough. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, welcome new subscribers. I haven't mentioned that in a while. Um, got several more new subscribers, so I'm glad you're here. and hope you enjoy the content and all that. And, uh, and as always to my existing subscribers, thanks for sticking around. I don't know why you do, <laughs> but it's all, all in good fun. So we will see you all real soon on the next one. I'm gonna, I've got an update on the uh, latest scrap acquisition in the queue. It's ready to go. I'll probably post that in a few days. And then uh, I've got some more travel going on. Um, and then when I get back, I'll see what else is in the queue in the backlog of projects that I got to get wrapped up around here. So bye for now. We'll see you later.